Weather watch tonight. We don't have a ton of heat in this forecast, but we have high humidity and the forecast for this entire week is a lot like a Florida forecast because almost each and every day has a chance for showers and thunderstorms, but the amount of storms or the area that the storms will take up will vary day by day. For example, tomorrow just expecting a few isolated storms, meaning a lot of the time in a lot of places will end up being dry. A little bit more action on Wednesday, particularly particularly in the western half of the state, so we'll call it scattered storms then. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just some isolated showers and storms. So putting this into the rain chances, just about a 40% chance for a pop-up shower or storm tomorrow, but that bumps up to 80% Wednesday afternoon and then back down for Thursday, Friday and Saturday, meaning plenty of the time will end up being dry. As far as tonight goes, we already have round one come through the northwest corner of the state earlier on, some tree damage, some hail and yes, also a report of a funnel cloud near Winstead around six o'clock. The radar right now in Connecticut is clear. However, to the west is round two and you can see all the lightning with this here. We have one cluster of storms coming into New York City, another one around Philadelphia and just taking the lightning off. You can see the storms right here. Question is, how much will these storms weaken as they move in tonight? As we've lost the instability, we've lost the daytime heating, but just given how strong they are now, I think we'll at least have heavy rain, thunder and lightning, and there could be an isolated stronger storm that rolls through after midnight. Right now it is warm out there for this time of the night, 74 in Hartford and New Haven, and the dew points are up there. Remember, when this number gets to 60, it feels humid. When it gets to 70, it feels tropical, and that's pretty much where we will stay through the night tonight. So we'll go through this hour by hour. Over the next couple of hours, that line of storms coming in from the west by about 12 or 1 in the morning, moving into the southwest corner of the state. And then between about 1 and 3 a.m., cross through the rest of the state. Again, I think a lot of us get some heavy rain, thunder and lightning, but there could be an isolated stronger storm as this moves through. Very mild out there tonight, given the clouds, the showers, the storms and the humidity, low temperatures only between 65 and 70. And then tomorrow, a lot of the time will be dry. There may be an isolated shower or thunderstorm, but notice a lot of the map doesn't have any action on it. And then in the afternoon, a lot of the activity will flare up to our north and west. So much of the time tomorrow will end up being dry, but it's still humid with hazy sunshine and high temperatures tomorrow that will be into the 70s. Next chance for rain comes in on Wednesday as this front approaches from the west. And I think that the action will be a little bit more uh, widespread. So we'll call it scattered storms on Wednesday with the highest chance being in the afternoon in the western part of the state. Here's a look at the next seven days. This entire stretch is going to be humid and almost each day has a chance for showers and storms. It looks like we may start to break out of this pattern early next week. Hopefully that becomes the case because Monday is the third and Tuesday of next week is the fourth and if timing plays in our favor, we could be in pretty good shape for those days after still some storms over the weekend. We'll have more coming up at 11. Back to you.